What do you feel like? I feel like, uh, like I'm like on some hard drug or something. Have you had anything to drink? Nothing. When I first saw the video, I, could, I looked in my eyes in the video and I could tell I wasn't there. I didn't remember her taking the video and when I seen myself like that, I just, it was terrifying. It was terrible to see yourself like that. No, man. He's sworn, he's gotten combative. Please. I need to do this. He's a moon me on camera. I mean, everything that you can think of that you would imagine somebody who's had seven shots of whiskey doing, uh, he's done. Maybe something else was brewing here. Because unbeknown to Nick and Karen, in Texas, a similar story was playing out. And it was brought to the attention of Dr. Barbara Cordell. I had a friend in 2010 that came to me and he, he and his wife were actually very concerned about some symptoms that he was having because it seemed like he was getting drunk without having drunk any alcohol. But the weird thing was that Barbara's friend, Joe, was teetotal. That's when I really started to research and try to figure out what was going on with him. Initially, we thought that Joe was having maybe some low blood sugar issues or that he was a diabetic or that he maybe, maybe even was a closet drinker. So Barbara's patient had exactly the same symptoms as Nick, but why? In order to pin down Joe's specific diagnosis, we actually went to a doctor. He actually hospitalized Joe for 24 hours and gave him a high carbohydrate diet. He had no access to alcohol. And then that's when the folks in the hospital actually saw Joe's blood alcohol level increase on its own without any ingestion of alcohol. What Barbara had discovered was that Nick and Joe were suffering from a very rare syndrome called auto-brewery. But what's that? Well, to find out, we have to examine how booze is made. Take vodka, for instance. One of its key ingredients is the potato, the ultimate carb. Now, carbohydrates are essentially sugars, and when you add yeast to them, they ferment, producing alcohol. Normally, our liver naturally stores most sugars, but if there's too much, it gets into the intestine. And that's where Nick and Joe's guts differ from the rest of us. Their intestines turn those carbohydrates and yeasts into alcohol. It's as if they've got their own little distillery in their bellies.